The O'Driscolls have been around for about a decade as of 1899, having first emerged around the early days of the Van der Linde gang. After Dutch Van der Linde killed Cole's brother, a long-standing rivalry arose between the two gangs. The O'Driscolls managed to attract many young men into their ranks, and thanks to their large quantity of members, covered a lot of territories. The O'Driscoll boys in several respects resemble the real-life Dalton gang, sometimes known as the Dalton Boys or Dalton Brothers, and its successor, the larger Doolin Dalton gang, regarded as the original Wild Bunch, which in turn was a separate entity entirely from Butch Cassidy's Wild Bunch. These 1890s-era gangs were recognized for the Irish heritage of many of their leaders and members, as well as for their violent exploits and deaths. Colmo Driscoll is said to prefer quantity over quality when it comes to recruitment, so standards to join the gang are very low, all that is needed to qualify for membership is for one to be able to operate a gun, to ride a horse and to plunder and pillage without thought. The leadership's loyalty to their men is no different, every individual member is expendable and Colm appears to have a knack for easily finding replacements for the men he has lost. This make makes the O'Driscoll boys very much the polar opposite of the Van der Linde gang. While the latter is small, it is a tight-knit group filled with some of the most prolific criminals and gunslingers of the time. The former, meanwhile, is just a huge horde of poorly equipped and trained nobodies, who only really have their sheer numbers as an advantage. While most of the gang seems to be American, a significant portion of it is made up of Irish immigrants who have strong accents and common Irish names such as Patrick and Seamus. Indeed, Colm himself appears to be of Irish descent and the gang's color seems to be green, which is often associated with Ireland. The gang is ruthless and has no qualms about murdering innocents, including women and children. The O'Driscoll Boys is the only gang that simultaneously has camps and hideouts in more than one territory, West Elizabeth and New Hanover which stands testament to the gang's large size. They are the only gang that will incur a wanted level if their bodies are seen, this is most likely a bug. The O'Driscolls are greatly weakened by their constant battles with the Van der Linde gang, the relentless hunts by law enforcement, and the death of Colm. The last of the O'Driscolls are eliminated by Sadie Adler and Arthur Morgan by request of the former. The last O'Driscoll left is Tom himself, who is stabbed viciously and killed by Sadie as he was the one who murdered her husband. This skirmish spells the end for the O'Driscoll boys, with their remaining leader and members all eliminated, thus wiping them out for good.